Free antivirus software can be an attractive choice if you're budget cautious since it offers basic protection. However, there are limitations associated with free antivirus software. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be going over everything you need to know when choosing the right antivirus for you. Since we now live in a mostly digital landscape, a lot of things in our lives have turned digital as well. That includes jobs, healthcare, schooling systems, and even entertainment. This has resulted in high demand for systems that would protect this landscape, with antiviruses being front and center. That's why we've seen a big jump in the number of antiviruses available, to the point where we have hundreds and even thousands of options available. And so choosing the right antivirus for you has become even harder and harder as there are a bunch of services offering different features and kits. And the right one for you may not be the right one for someone else. So in this video, I'll be going over everything you need to know when choosing an antivirus and how to make your selection process much easier. Also, before we get into this video, if you'd like to check out some antivirus options and see if they're right for you, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below along with some discounts. Not all antivirus software is created equal, and as I mentioned earlier, the best choice for one person may not be suitable for another. To tailor pick an antivirus to fit your requirements, there are a few things to consider. For starters, make sure that the antivirus software is compatible with your operating system, whether it's Windows, Mac OS, or a Linux distribution. Next, consider the devices you need to protect such as personal computers, smartphones, or tablets. Some antivirus solutions are optimized for multi-device protection. You should also analyze how you use your devices. Are you a casual user, a gamer, a business professional, or a parent looking for parental control features? Your usage patterns will influence your choice. And now we move on to what you need to know about some antivirus products. This process is called research and comparison, and there are a bunch of different aspects to take into consideration here. The first of which is what protection features the antivirus offers. Look for antivirus software that offers comprehensive protection, including real-time scanning, firewall, anti-phishing, and anti-ransomware features. Second of all, investigate the software's effectiveness in detecting and removing malware. Independent testing organizations like AV Test and AV Comparatives provide vulnerable insights into the performance of various antivirus solutions. Another thing to take into consideration is that a good antivirus program should not slow down your computer significantly. Check for reviews or performance benchmark tests to assist the impact on your system speed and responsiveness. Other than that, choose software that is easy to install, configure, and use. And an intuitive user interface can make your personal experience much more pleasant. Lastly, check for regular updates as they are important for keeping your antivirus software effective against evolving threats. Also, consider the quality of customer support in case you encounter issues. Now, before we move on to the hot topic of free versus paid antivirus, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection. The Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files. The Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint. Instant data leak notifications with Surfshark alert and Surfshark Alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor, and let's get back to the video. 
Now, as you may already know, there are both free and paid antiviruses, yet there is no definitive answer as which you should actually choose. So let me break it down for you to help you make a more informed decision. So when deciding between paid and free antivirus solutions, it's really important to weigh the advantages and disadvantages of each option. Free antivirus software can be an attractive choice if you're budget cautious since it offers basic protection, typically including features like malware scanning and removal at no cost. However, there are limitations associated with free antivirus software, such as the absence of comprehensive customer support. So when you encounter any issues or need assistance, the availability of help may be limited or entirely non-existent. On the other hand, paid antivirus solutions provide much more effective and comprehensive defense against a wide range of cyber threats. These paid versions not only offer advanced protection features, but also come with regular updates and dedicated customer support. These updates are key for staying protected against the latest threats, as cyber criminals continuously develop new techniques and malware. Also, paid antivirus packages often include additional features like password managers, VPNs, and parental control tools, enhancing the overall security of your digital ecosystem. If you have an extensive digital footprint and a greater need for security, investing in a paid antivirus solution is often the better choice, as it offers a broader spectrum of protection and the peace of mind that comes with professional customer support. If you don't care about such features and you're not on your devices that often, then maybe the free options are better for you. Though, keep in mind that you'll be getting a bare bones antivirus that might not even have real-time scanning capabilities like the paid counterparts. And that's basically it for everything you need to know when picking out an antivirus for you. Don't forget to check the links in the description in case you're looking for an antivirus, as I've left a bunch of in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend, as well as discounts. Also, if you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments, as I love to interact with you guys. And that will be all for today, and I'll see you in the next one.